What is going on guys? This is Ben here. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little mad right now and you may be wondering like, Ben, why are you mad right now? You have a gold chest legendary you are about to open and that is because I was recording a, this was, this happened mid video. I was like 15 minutes into an entire video I recorded and my stuff started to crash. I don't know how much I can salvage. I'll show you guys something, but the rest of this video, we're gonna see max level gameplay of the Mega Knight since we just got it yesterday. Gonna try and get it up versus a freaking max level P.E.K.K.A and see how we do, but I was so mad, man. That was such a good video, but I cannot complain. We got a gold chest legendary, and the only card that we actually need at all is the another Mega Knight to make it one out of one. So yes, this is like the impossible V2. The impossible happened once again with a gold chest legendary, but why couldn't this have come a little bit earlier when I didn't have everything maxed? But other than that, definitely leave a like if you guys are excited for the rest of the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Do a lot of chest openings. Get these, get the new cards maxed as fast as we can. So without further ado, I know it's probably killing you guys and I'm sorry if I seemed a little bit mad, but that was because, man, my recording just crashed and I had to restart over, so. And we were doing well, man. But here it is, please give me the Mega Knight to be one out of one. The impossible, oh, the princess keeps trolling us. It's a legendary though, another gold chest legendary, so I cannot complain. Honestly, I'm still hoping for that silver chest legendary though. Uh, but we got it on camera now, and here we are. Uh, there it is, the max Mega Knight, and I already, you can see right here, I just basically, seven and 11 minutes ago, destroyed, just completely dismantled. The Lava Hounds, we three we got three crowns each time, or three Odom, not three Odom, but three crown each time. Um, so I'll show you guys the Mega Knight, but I'm going to show you guys some replays where some max level gameplay, but I don't want to spoil those. And before we get started though, guys, I want to try and get back up to the 6,000 trophy range, and I will say this, the max 18 wins is killing me, man. Hopefully sometime soon we get another like high win challenge so I can hopefully get that to the max level. Just two wins away, so sad. But yeah, 60, 100 was our trophy high. Currently we're at our season high, which we're actually really good. We're... And for, for local, which US has a lot of players, I'm 30, I'm currently, in the, in the entire United States, there's only 31 people that have more trophies than me, which is actually pretty crazy if you think about it, of how many people actually play Clash Royale. But other than that, we're gonna try and push. Global is at 5,300, so we're pretty close on that. But guys, gonna show you guys some uh, max level Mega Knight versus some max level P.E.K.K.A. All right guys, so getting into the max P.E.K.K.A. versus the max Mega Knight. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this because a lot of you probably have never seen a max, fully maxed level 8 P.E.K.K.A. go head to head with a fully maxed level 8 Mega Knight and I want to show you guys that. Uh, we know since like the challenge and since the Mega Knight has been released, generally the P.E.K.K.A. is a very good counter to the Mega Knight. But I'm sure a lot of you want to see just how good of a counter it is and how well or how much damage a maximal Mega Knight can do to it. And I'll give you my perspectives on whether you should like what I what I actually I like better as a card. Uh, early on here, I just throw in the balloon because I didn't have anything to drop and I didn't want this to go into really double elixir. Yes, my battle deck is heavy. Uh, it's actually not. This battle deck right here is currently another one that's a really good Mega Knight battle deck. Uh, but I like the other one a little bit better when I because like right now I'm facing a lot of P.E.K.K.A.s or heavy things like Golem. And when I face that kind of stuff, I actually like the battle deck that I showed you guys where I beat the Lava Hounds a little bit better, which we'll see live games after this. So I'm sorry if you guys don't like the replays, um, but I, I'm not, there's no guarantee if I do a live match if I face a P.E.K.K.A. So that's that. And I'm still a little bit upset about my entire video. Basically, uh, I, I want to see how much it was salvaged. I don't know. But throwing down the Mega Knight right here the first time, the level 5, the fully max Mega Knight, bearing down on the tower, and he throws down the P.E.K.K.A. right in his face, stuffs it. So you're seeing one-on-one -on -one battle right now. They're smacking each other, and the P.E.K.K.A. actually completely, completely destroyed. Yes, the tower was shooting the Mega Knight a little bit as well, but it didn't change the fact that the P.E.K.K.A. was going to take it. And we know that. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to destroy the Mega Knight head-to-head. -head. But I honestly, I'm just going to say this, I love the Mega Knight more, like, a lot better than the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. is only single target damage. Yes, it has a lot higher damage, but the P.E.K.K.A. is so easy to get distracted by like skeletons or something else. But the Mega Knight, guys, it's it's like invaluable. Or just, I don't even, you can't even measure how much value you can get from him when people are like just keep dropping stuff in the lane. And he just completely shuts that down. He's basically a counter to mini, or he's basically a counter. And I don't know what was up with that elixir collector drop there. I don't know if it was a misclick, because guys never do that. Don't ever do that unless it's like dire measures that you need to distract something. But basically, I got value there with the fireball. Um, if he was going to put that, I would put it back next to his king tower so my troops wouldn't get distracted. And then once again, the Mega Knight wins the thing, but the Mega, like, or the Pekka won the thing, but the Pekka. 
is like hard for it to deal with, but you can generally play around it. But honestly, I thought I was gonna lose right here because of this stuff coming down on the tower. But it's like, watch this, Mega Knight completely shuts down the push, and that's why he's so good. He shuts down three musketeers almost single-handedly. And he, like, say you have a fireball, you don't need to just save your fireball for three musketeers. So the Mega Knight guys, I am in such high regards for him. Uh, we zap his tower, took care of it, and there's basically not enough time for him to get here. Uh, but I do struggle with P.E.K.K.A. matchups with this battle deck. Uh, we'll get into another replay. Won't tell you if I won or lost. And I'll show you guys, like, the downside of the Mega Knight, though. So we'll get into the next replay, and let's get into it. So this one here, we're going to run at double speed, because I know you guys want to get into the live matches. I don't really run replays or show replays on the match, because, I don't know, they're not as exciting, because it's not live action. But we'll get into some live battles soon. And uh, honestly, I thought I was pushing it with like how far I've trophy pushed already. Because this is really early in the season. I think there's still like 20 days left. And right here, I had to pick to take care of the stuff on the left-hand side to save my tower. And take that that uh, that Electro Wizard damage. But he's pretty much got a solid P.E.K.K.A. battle deck. It's a very quick cycle. And the P.E.K.K.A. itself is just there. And right now, you're going to see the battle once again. Mega Knight versus that P.E.K.K.A. And... Well, it's actually Mini P.E.K.K.A. versus P.E.K.K.A. right now, and we still lose. But the Balloon, I thought I was going to get to the tower, but the Electro Wizard just came in too clutch. And then here comes a big, basically super push, and I couldn't stop it. I just got overwhelmed. The Miner, P.E.K.K.A. is a solid counter for me. But if I did have, if I was running by the battle deck that I was telling you guys, I'll show you guys after this. Um, I probably would have been able to win this one uh, because of the Inferno Dragon. Yes, he has an Electro Wizard and Zap, but you can play around that easily. Uh, if, I, if I didn't show you guys that from one of the, your, the, like, the original Mega Knight challenge, uh, I can show it to you again. But other than that, though, throwing on the balloon, and I was just pushing the other tower, trying to, but double P.E.K.K.A.'s coming bearing down on my tower. So you can see the downside here. I couldn't really take care of anything. Uh, those P.E.K.K.A.'s just came in too clutch, and that was the loss we got, but I don't know. So now we're going to get into these live matches. We're going to the Gold Chest Legendary, the max level Mega Knight gameplay, and this is the battle deck right here. That is the P.E.K.K.A. counter-ish, kind of. You can still lose to it because the Giant and the P.E.K.K.A. or the Giant and the Mega Knight actually have a bad matchup, as you guys know. But the Inferno Dragon is kind of what saves you. But uh, hopefully I can get 5,000 trophies. Like I said, I thought I was pushing it with these last two matches when I was previously recording and it crashed, but we, we won. So let's see if we can make it 3-0, maybe facing like the Lava Hound or something. And those were, they were intense matches, man. Actually, no, it kind of wasn't. If I can salvage those, I'll probably show you those, or at least maybe I don't even know. But we are, are going against against we are going up against John Tan three. I had to reset there. Another tombstone. So what I was making a big deal about blasting is I've never faced the tombstone really, and this is three times in a row facing the tombstone up here. So you know it's the lava hound. And sadly, my actually my opening hand isn't good. I'm pretty sure this is a mere battle. Like this this lava hound battle like must be super popular or something. I don't exactly know, but it's gonna have the balloon, it's gonna have uh, regular minions that I can arrow, and yeah, that's basically kind of it. So for, I'm waiting for that balloon drop, and we're gonna throw it on the Inferno Dragon, and hopefully we can take care of this easy. You got the fireball, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but this, oh, I might have to arrow, because we're gonna leave it open for regular minions to take care of us, but we're survived. Sadly, my opening hand honestly wasn't that great. The other matchups probably I leveled them, all the Lava Hound users was because I had like Inferno Dragon opening hand, I had the Mega Knight, I had the Elixir Collector if I needed to pump up. It was just, it was, a, it was, it was too good. But we're going to Elixir Collector here. Basically wait for him to make the move. Probably see the Lava Hound. Oh shoot! Did I guess right? No I didn't. So, hopefully the Bandit can kill this a little faster. Alright, well it's still alive. So this is actually a little bit different variant of Lava Hound. Maybe it doesn't have Balloon. And that's actually better for us because the Balloon is the card that's like near impossible for us to deal with <laughs> to be completely honest and I'm gonna let these go I'm not playing for chip damage on my towers I'm playing for crowns or towers full towers so I'm gonna save as much elixir as I can he's gonna throw that over there so I'm gonna throw on the inferno dragon over here and then dude my nose is really itchy right now man <laughs> not even gonna lie to you guys throw down the electric wizard I wanted that I wanted to throw down my mega knight I'm not gonna lie I did there are those Arrow them, keep them. We got, so we got our giant alive as well. Ah, oh, the Inferno Dragon survived that. Let's go. You are so clutch. Okay, we got all this though. 
I'm just gonna zap this right away. They're on the Mega Knight. I can't cycle fast enough. Come on. I, I basically had to drop that to save my tower. Okay. Well, we have to play out on this side, actually. So I'll let those minions go. We're gonna eat a lot of damage, but that's fine. <sighs> this is a lot. I like this matchup better, guys. I really do. Okay. Come on. I want to retain the streak. We're going all in on this side. Fireball coming out. It's fine. He missed the Inferno Dragon. Zap didn't really... That's not going to matter too much. Arrows. I think we got his tower. We're going to trade towers here, guys. And I like our chances. Actually, no, I don't. Look at our tower damage over there. Oh no, I should have I went in because he has the Mega Knight Giant push and everything. I should have been aggressive on his left-hand side. I think I just cost myself the game, guys. So he's going to probably throw it on the Lava Hound right on this side over here. Oh no. Going to have to do this. Arrow, arrow here. Just go in. Come on, dude. Come on, Giant. Oh my goodness, he stopped that. Well played there, bro. You don't need to let man. Wow. You guys have to admit, that was a really solid match. I think I think I would have went out win on this push here if it would have been longer, but he was basically going for my tower, I was going fully for his. So that was intense. Usually like okay, a draw there, I'll take it. Like I thought I was gonna lose to be honest. We made that clutch last push. I wasn't expecting the like the minion the the miner. The ones that we played the mirror match on was this one right here with the balloon and the regular minions and everything so we were able to win on that one but his difference was that minor and it didn't actually make a big difference because he was allowed to basically he could cycle a lot faster with that and so i'm surprised but whatever it worked so one more match hopefully we can get into 5,000 trophies this early into the season that would be awesome i'm scared but we got a long wait time guys you want to see something that's gonna work it's gonna be the cancel button because no one's here watch Boom. The cancel button basically works when there's like not a whole lot of a like big pool of players playing at the mo at the moment. So, see if we face the the lava mound four times in a row. It's looking like it. I literally have nothing, man. That was a good balloon drop by him because I didn't have my electro wizard. I had to throw on this, and now he's gonna get a value with his miner. So this might be the same freaking lava hound battle. Why is everyone running lava hound right now? There's no way every top player is running Lava on at this moment. So we're going to zap these. And I missed a few. Oops. My bad. It might not be Lava Maybe it's just... Okay. Maybe it isn't Lava Hound. But seeing the balloon and Miner, like the same exact, I had the feeling it was. But at least our tower on the right didn't take too much damage. But I'm going to be scared of this balloon because we don't really have a good counter for it right now. Not at all. Throw on the giant to distract, and then we're gonna throw on the electric wizard. This is basically what we have to do. Which is sad, but it's all I got. Literally, it's all I got. Electric wizard's still gonna take care of that a little bit, but he's getting to the tower. So, guys, this is not looking good early. I, I wasn't able to pump up. The counter, he had the he had the solid stuff placed for me right now, so ooh. I'm not letting you take my tower just yet. So he decided to fireball it anyway, so I just wasted a bandage drop. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. And I'm scared to throw on the elixir collector because we know the, the minion, the miner is going to come out. Or he's going to go in with this. I don't have anything, guys. This is going to be GG on this push. I don't got anything for the balloon. Ice golem balloon, okay. Um, throw my Electro Wizard in the back, and basically we're just gonna go in for a huge push, and hopefully we can get a tower. We're gonna zap the bats properly this time. And the Mega Knight fails hardcore at missing the mini pack. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're going in for a big push like I said. We gotta basically three crown them or something on this push. Where's my arrows or zap? I don't even need it. We got Electro Wizard, so... We're three crown. We're going for the three crown. The three crowner is all we got. That's our only hope. Go, guys. Go. Go. Come on, man. Come on, Mega Knight. One more hit. 
Come on, more yes, dude. The, you could not say that isn't an epic comeback for 5,000 trophies. Oh my goodness. If that Megan up was not level five, we would not have got that. Good game, dude. We were hardcore countered. Like, there was no way we should have won that. He had the ice golem freaking balloon, and I couldn't stop that, dude. Oh my gosh, let's go. And plus we get our crown chest. See if the free legendaries continue now. We still have one more chance with the silver chest, dude. My voice is going out, man. <laughs> got a little uh, excited there. <laughs> But other than that, we got 5,000. Where does that put us in the local leaderboards? 27. So we'll take that. Where does that put us in global? Does it put us on the top leaderboard yet? Uh, no, I'd have to win one more. So other than that, that was a crazy video. Sadly, my stuff hopefully doesn't crash this time, or at least my voice, because you might hear the back, I don't even know. Sad that my stuff crashed, that's why I was a little upset the first, in the beginning. But if you're new to the channel, don't be sure. So other than that though, hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, definitely, dude, squeeze some hype in the comments down below for that last win. That was crazy. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know what tomorrow's video will be, but stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.